Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. I'm I'm stuck in a hole. For real, I am stuck in a hole. I was trying to use Iskal's elevator over at his base. I was coming over here to pinch some ink sacks and uh, I got stuck in this hole. Trying to use his elevator. I mean, I got teleported into this space. And I hope I don't break anything. Okay, that was a good start. <laughs> And I know what to do here, look. Ooh, uh, we did actually break something. Okay, fair. Now I've broken some more things. Well, this isn't exactly a great start to the episode, is it? Whew, thank goodness for that. If I'd have nudged that minecart, I might not have been able to put this back in the same slot. So this is a minecart elevator. And for some reason, this bit is built with loads of sand. But we can put it all back together now, and then I'm going to get out of here, because I don't want to break anything else, okay? <laughs> uh, I'm a little bit worried that I might cause some more damage. This is good, I like this. Iskal's base is colour-coded. So we look in the green shulker boxes, and eventually we'll find... Aha! This stuff! So, some of that went missing when it fell down... On that torch, a little bit peculiar, there's like probably more than 11 blocks missing in total. So I need to go and patch that up. And I came over here to just borrow a little bit of ink sacks because I know that Iskal has an ink sack farm. Let's see if we can find any of that. Nope, they're empty. We've got some more black ones over here. I'm not going to pinch a lot, I just need a little bit for now. I've found it, I've found it. It's, it, it's over here, there's this cool selection array. And uh, you can access the chest behind it. And look, Iskal's got more than enough ink sacks to spare. I'm just going to borrow like half of a stack here. And the thing is, the block is in front of us. <laughs> you can still stay accessing the chest. I find that amusing. Anyway, let's grab half a stack. So it's just this bit right here. There's a whole bunch of these missing. It's kind of strange <laughs> that I didn't pick those up when they fell down. But there we go. Right, now we can finally get out of Iskal's base. Right, it's time to fly home, and I've got a question for you. Would you like to see me do some of these advancements that we now have here on the server? We could do them in live streams, we could do them in episodes, maybe we could aim to do one or two every episode. I got this one during a live stream, and I kind of thought that I wasn't really going to focus on doing these, because I helped design them, I kind of know how all of them are done, right? But it could still be a lot of fun, so I thought I'd put it to you guys, and let's make it a poll, because we like to do a poll every video so uh, yeah there'll be some options I can think like yes or no or that's a terrible idea assume I'm never gonna watch you again no I, I doubt anyone's thinking that but yeah let me know if you like the idea of doing some advancements every stream and then I died um, I was tabbed out while flying in the air and I have absolutely no idea why would that cause me to die I was really high up in the sky do you know what Whatever, death number four, it's here, it's happened, okay? I ain't even bothered, let's go get my items. Well then, I've gotten all of my items back, and my saving grace was actually Optifine, and the torches that have fallen on the ground, you see, it was just night time, and there was this light, and I zoomed in on it, and then, there it is, there's all my items, so, maybe you could say that's kind of cheaty. I don't care, I'm glad I got my items back, and, uh... Right, so I got something very exciting planned next, but let me show you what happened. So, I'm flying like this in the sky, I'm getting really high so that I can glide for a long time, and I level myself out so that I am, uh, yeah, facing forward like that. But as I go and open my inventory and tab out of Minecraft, for some reason my character drifted upwards like this, so I'm guessing it thought that I left um, my mouse in a different position, and when you do that, you will drop down considerably fast. I don't really want to do it because we haven't got a good... Aha! This is the way. Look! See? I'm dropping. And then on we go again. So that's how that boo-boo happened. Uh, let's forget about it. Let's go do something really cool. Okay, there it is. I'm officially designating this place the coolest place on the server to go to right now. And I'm thinking that we could use this farm that Tango's put together to hunt some vexes and to get ourselves a vex head because we're still hunting all of the... The heads in this game. Um, what you were looking at are evokers slaying iron golems. It is the coolest thing. And look at that. The vexes are getting... Hey, what's coming over here for me? Jeez, I'm not prepared. And I'm getting horrendous lag spikes. 
What is this mysterious lag? I'm not prepared for fighting. Hang on, I need a chest plate, I need some food, and I'm over here to fight the uh, Vexes, that's for sure, but I didn't expect them to attack me so quickly. So what we want to do is probably actually put that, no wait, how does this work again? Sword on the offhand, so we get the looting effect, and then anything here that we shoot... Oh, that was a good shot. Uh, we'll get the looting effect passed onto it. So if we can take out the occasional Vex, and obviously I've got to be very careful not to shoot the Evokers, I'm thinking their heads will drop down, hopefully onto this platform, which has minecarts underneath it. And do you know what? These guys should be making a lot of sound, shouldn't they? Okay, if I go to about here, I can hear things dying, which is good. I was a little bit concerned there. Uh, it seems Tango has awakened from his slumber, and I didn't see where that Vex was, did I? Oh, uh, <laughs> I should have loaded my ender chest before I left. I've got no access to my tools, and I don't have a silk touch pick to pick this back up. I'm hoping Tango can help me out. Yeah, it looks like Tango's going to drop me down something here. There come the pearls. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And I want to keep my eye on that pick if he's dropping one. Oh, I think he's going to pick it up for me. Good idea, Tango. Good idea. Right, and where did those pearls go? Did they fall down here? They did. It's good shooting practice. It would make a good game, yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go, there's one. Yeah? Oh, I can see it. It's right there, yep. Can I take it? Absolutely, I got two already. Nice, thank you. Um, best way to do this would be to end up... Oh! Oh! <laughs> end okay. pearl over and then end pearl out real quick, yeah. Yeah, yeah, something like that. As soon as you walk out on the cobble, that's it, the vexes are after you. You get... Yeah, it's pretty close range. Okay, Even out here, though, you get hit once in a while. I got to make a little safety platform. I don't know if the Vex use line of sight to determine their targets or not, though. I think I think I think the most reasonable, uh, let's say, good. <laughs> ah, <laughs> oh. uh, analyzation of what's happening is they can fly around, right? So as soon as right. they fly away from the golems towards you and get distracted, there's one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. They're on you. But I'm wondering if I put up some, like, I'm going to try putting up some glass and stuff there and seeing if oh, yeah, that they'll will still attack help. us. But if they do see you, they'll fly through the blocks and attack you. But then they won't knock you off the platform. Right. All right, I got it. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, man, that looks seriously cool. That's one of the coolest oh, it, heads to it's get. It's one of the best heads in the game, absolutely. Yeah, you put that thing on and you're just like, yeah. <laughs> and not only does it look really cool, it's probably one of the most fun ones to get as well, right? Yep, yep. I got, uh, Steph and I got, we had two Endermite heads drop in live stream. Nice. So yeah. most people oh, don't have those. Oh, right in my face. <sighs> we are now the proud owners of a ridiculously cool Vex head. But it's raining. It's gloomy and miserable over here in the overworld. So we're not going to be hanging out here for too much longer. I want to start a new project. And I'm very precarious about starting new projects. Because the ones we've already got going are pretty epic. Pretty on a large scale, you know. And so I want to do something that's achievable. And I feel like what we're going to do is achievable in this episode. From start to finish. Now, what we end up building may not look entirely great. It's going to be somewhat of an experiment, okay? We have this little area of ours here in the Never, and what I want to do is build our own mini Never Hub. It's something I've done in the past, and it means whenever the main Never Hub is finished, we connect to that, you come over to the mini Nether Hub, and then there's a whole bunch of portals and other connections as well. So we've got the Witch Farm in that direction, we've got the sand mining area and the end portal over in that direction and even Jevin's base actually hooks up through ours so we'll have to build a little tunnel for him as well. You can see this area has been dug out to a certain shape. What I want to do is take this shape and make it a little bit bigger overall and then dig out some of the netherrack above us and all of the netherrack going downwards to a lava lake. I want to have our nether hub suspended above a lava lake. Now what we build in this episode may end up not looking so great. I've got a really cool idea that I want to just try rather than tell you what it is. And if it doesn't end up looking that great, that's okay. Maybe we can change it and improve it, but that's sort of the way I'm thinking about this. So we are just over this direction somewhere. I've actually got to check and see that this isn't too close to the area for what we're going to do. Uh, but then below us, look, big lava lake, and I really want to take advantage of this. So yeah, it's time for me to get my digging pick going and dig out some more space up there. 
Quick update, I've resized the portals. As you can see, they are now all free wide. Some of them have been repositioned a little bit. And we've got one over here which used to lead to the witch farm. I'm thinking we'll put a portal underground and that can connect to the record farm, hopefully. But the reason that I'm recording is because I've used an octagon layout calculator. I will try to remember to put a link in the description box to it. It's not for Minecraft. It's not for Minecraft at all. It uses feet and inches as a measurement. But what I did is I put in the blocks that I've calculated here as feet. And just by giving it one distance, it can calculate all the other distances in an octagon. So that made it real easy from the center or actually from the edge of the portal because this is five wide. I, uh, I then add another five blocks and then we get this perfect octagon shape going all the way around the room, which is just fantastic. Anyway, the next step for me now is to actually replace these walls with glass. And I've got to make a big decision and choose a glass color as our entire nether hub is going to be made with large quantities of glass. So thanks to the flower farm we fixed last episode, I've been able to make lots of orange dye. And then with the smelter, I've smelted up loads of glass and I've started putting in this ring around the outside. Now my plan is to build this entire hub out of glass and it was all going to be the same colour glass. But then I had this idea that maybe what we should do is put a trim of obsidian going around. So I'm going to lower the floor, have some obsidian under the glass there and above as well. But then it got me thinking that maybe having all this orange next to obsidian isn't so great and we should change this colour out for something else. But... The rest of it will be made out of orange. So I think I'll actually do that last as I've got like a trick up my sleeve that you're going to see later in the video. So anyway, it's time for me to grind some obsidian, put it up above, put it down below. And I think what we'll focus on next is the roof area, which is going to be rather large, let's say. It's now time for a big reveal. I've done a portion of this side of the room over here. The project is definitely turning out to be a lot bigger than I thought it would be. And you know what, this is actually kind of slow, so I'm going to dig away the rest of this netherrack. I can hear something shooting. I can definitely hear the sound of something shooting. It might, it's very faint, so it might be even harder for you to hear it. There is something shooting around here. I'm trying to think of what it could be, like a skeleton in the nether? How did that get here? No. Maybe a dispenser? Someone's got a redstone contraption? I don't know. Anyway, we're getting crazy amounts of netherrack from this. And I'm keeping it all as well because I know that Tango Tech needs some. And check it out. That's how big it looks at the moment. It's going to get a little bit taller. Well, actually, do I want to... No, I want to give it a flat roof. And I'm glad I thought about that now because I believe that point there would where I'd want it to be flat. Okay, so I'm going to fill in all of that with orange. Yep. And we're going to do that all around all the sides. Okay, and you can see it looks a little bit janky because one of the things I'll have to do later is remove any of the netherrack that actually touches this stuff. It needs to have space on the other side for something we're going to do later that you're going to see later in this video. But after we've done the top part of this nether hub, then we got to do the bottom bit going downwards. And I've got to dig this all the way down till we reach that lava lake, which could actually be a very long way down. So for this episode, I'm going to make sure that I get the roof done first of all. Alright, here it is, our nether hub ceiling. And I've got to admit, not so glamorous yet, right? Well, it's the, the secret thing that I'm going to add that's going to make the big difference here. <laughs> but in order to do that, I've got to clear out all of the space around the glass as well. So it's all good having it in place, but up here you'll see that there's some blocks against the glass in places. And I need to go around and do some more digging. I'm having a hard time jumping up and down here, aren't I? <laughs> Let's go on top of this thing. We need to remove everything up here. There can't be any netherrack directly on top of it. Any netherrack blocks that touch the glass are going to be no good whatsoever. Problem is, I've got them through all of my picks right now. <laughs> Literally, they're all about to break. So we've got to take a trip to the end and repair them. I've got a question. That question is, will I have enough buckets? We're kind of making a giant X shape here. We've got a lava source in the middle that goes over the edge. Actually, it doesn't go over the edge. This is what I was looking at a moment ago. It goes up to the edge. But when we add another one over here, it helps that stuff go over the edge. Like, hmm. I guess actually that one's closer and it spreads out to the side, right? Now the other sides, it's gone over the edge. And on that side, it hasn't. Well, that's kind of disappointing. <laughs> I might have made a big mistake there. We'll check out what's going on when we get down to the bottom. This is my big idea and this is the big reveal, okay? We're covering the entire thing in lava. I've had this idea since I first dug out the space down below, which was months ago, that I wanted to cover the whole thing in lava and have like a 
a cube suspended in lava, except it's actually an octagon. And yeah, let's let's just let's just look at something here, okay? So there's a gap there. You can see there isn't a gap over on that side. Could mean that the entire nether hub is off by one block, and that would make me scream. That would actually be pretty unbearable. Now, you can see why I had to remove all of the uh, netherrack on the outside here. Did all of that, and down the bottom here I've actually got some ladders, so they suspend the lava. And uh, we can drop down like that. Now there's a problem that I want to talk about. We use an Optifine, which makes the bottom of lava look a little bit bizarre. And as we go into here, glitchy, but wow. <laughs> wow indeed. I'm liking that. That's kind of crazy. We're going to have to turn off Optifine here to see what it's like. Up the top there, looking very bizarre. So I've turned off Optifine and it's got me thinking, how can I get Optifine just to do lava like normal? Because now... Now it's looking seriously cool in here. This is just crazy. <laughs> I like it a lot. But over on that side, you can see it goes down the middle. And on these ones, it hasn't. And I've been measuring it up. We put a source block right in the very middle. And it hasn't... Uh, oh, sorry. It has spread over that side, but not over that side. And I've counted it. It's the same distance. So I really don't know what's going on there. My fire resistance is about to run out. And we're left with one lava bucket, which is kind of fortunate because... Um, I basically emptied this thing out, you know, took as many of them as I could. Glad we did that the other day, that came in very useful. Where did my chests go? Uh, they're actually there, aren't they? That's a very strange sight. Hi, all I want to do is make a potion. And all of my chests have disappeared. Such a cool look, I can't stop looking up at it. And uh, the lava is going to come further down, but I thought we'd save that for another day. I've got even bigger plans. This is just the top area and remember I said about it going all the way down to the bottom where the lava is. Yeah, I'll let your imagination run away with that but I was trying to explain what was going on up the top there and probably sounded a little bit silly. So I put a source block in the middle and when that goes out the full distance it's not able to tick over the edge. Now what I thought I'd done is then put them in diagonals like this going outwards and one of those I've made a mistake and I'd actually put the block over to the side a little bit and that had enabled it to then flow down over where this one couldn't reach. So I went around and I moved that one over to here, uh, this one over to there, and last of all that one over to the side. And now they flow down all of the sides and that's the pattern in which the source blocks are laid out. So there we go, that's how I did it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm with my good friend Scar right now. Hi Scar. Hello Azuma, hello. Welcome to the underground area. Look at this place, isn't it cool? Breathtaking view, breathtaking view. Goodness me. <laughs> this is an amazing project, my friend. Oh, it's it's something. It's something. <laughs> One problem we have, look at this. This is this is this is just terrible down here. Look at the mobs. Zombies. They're everywhere. You've got an Enderman crawling over it over there. I'm waiting oh, for that guy just... to Oh no, I looked at him. That was okay. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. I forgot they okay. do that. I'm too used to my yeah. little mushroom island where everything's peaceful and nice. Uh he's <laughs> taking damage. I can't shoot you know, him because he'll teleport. You just get really battle-hardened around here, Azuma, you know? After you've died four times by slimes, Endermen <laughs> just feel like nothing anymore. Oh, those slimes. Okay, right, I'm gonna I'm gonna fly down here and finish this fella off. That's Oh no, he's burning! Ooh, That's kinda bad, because then he teleports. From above! On oh, teamwork! <laughs> nice! That oh, that was wrecked. good. That was good. We had a little teamwork there. That was nice. Yes. So this thing right here, like this is this this little spot right here, I'm excited about because I think this part right here is just going to be something completely useless. It doesn't serve any purpose but theme. I want to build little like houses up here that look like uh, maybe like little hermits have come down here and built little houses and things right here. Just add mm. a little atmosphere to it. Oh, I'm excited gonna, about that. It's going to be gorgeous. We need a bit of a refresher though. This is this is like the community dig area. It's been going on for a, a while now. We you have built an incredible like base of a tree underground. This swampy area down here is looking lovely. Yeah. And uh, we're teaming up today, though, to, to build an elevator for this place, right? To get from the top to the bottom. Oh, yes. We're going to elevate this build. Mm. I've got a, I've got an amazing design for you as well. Uh, but we I'm gotta, super excited. We've got to find the entrance, man. Whenever I come down here, what I end up doing is I somehow get to the top of the staircase. And then I, like, jump over the edge and start flying <laughs> around the room. It's actually a really nice way of coming into this area, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm really bad at, like, construction safety when you're building stuff. <laughs> I can, like, it's, I can it's tell there's zombies nightmare. everywhere. Oh. <laughs> it's the lighting, man. We should have we should have put this in the middle of the mushroom biome. That would have been genius, right? 
Oh um, yeah, that actually would have probably been a good idea, right under the mushroom biome. That's that, it. No, that no death to saved. slimes. <laughs> uh, that would have saved. How many deaths do you think? I, that would probably have saved at least thirty of my deaths. Wow, that is a lot of deaths. Like, I'm almost up to eighty at the moment. So the other ones I had other problems, unrelated. Yes. So this is my secret little bunker back here. Yeah, the secret All scar room the little with the building palette on the grounds and insane amounts of uh, shulker boxes. I love it. <laughs> I don't know if you need any, Azuma, but I've got smooth stone. If you need anything, I, I've got it. I know, where, I, I know where the stash is. I happen to have shulker box after shulker box after <laughs> shulker box full of uh, stone bricks. So I'm... Well, smooth stone, not stone bricks. I'm kind of good, but thanks for the offer. <laughs> nobody, nobody ever wants them, Zuma. I, I really try. I try to offer it to people. It's because everyone's been it. over here digging. That's the problem. <laughs> They've already got their inventories filled up with stone. Oh. So this is yes. where we're going to put the elevator. This is the location. There is a barking dog outside, and I'm pretty sure my microphone is picking it up. <laughs> I don't hear it. That Good for you. I, I've got a feeling the peeps in my video might hear it. I don't know. Check this Ooh. out. Check out my okay. organized chests of organization. Ooh, I like this. Oh, look at this one. The What is this, the X04 lights? I like that. I like that. There's the redstone. There we go. There's there's more than we need here for this project, by the way. I'm just uh, I'm just chuckling to myself now because I don't need to put all of these down, uh, but I'm going to anyway. Ooh. See, this is what's cool about Minecraft now is like we can have expandable bases inside of our ender chests. You know, exactly. one little one little ender chest, and you've got like this expanding base. It's like the the tent from Harry Potter. They just go in there. There's like three tents. There's like a kitchen. Everybody's having a good time. I like that. That's, it's yeah. magical. It's like the TARDIS. <laughs> Look, I even have redstone boxes. Look at this. Boom. Redstone. Boom. Dusty. You were telling me they were dusty red. Oh wow, you got a lot of redstone hooked up here, man. You're showing me up. I'm not sure what this red stuff is. <laughs> Dusty unused uh, box. Oh, you know, well, I, I put it together a few months ago, and I haven't touched it since. Well, I will put it to good use, my friend. I'm gonna build you a uh, a sorting system soon as well as as this today, right? Yep. We'll oh, it. and I'm gonna put down this. I'm gonna put down a snack bar just in case we need it. Ooh, snack yeah, I've bar. Got a snack bar. Oh yeah. Oh, I, I don't like have cake. Variety. I like this. I like the way you're thinking. There's only one cake. I'll leave it there then. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You know what? We're gonna eat it today. Boom. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Then I'll uh, I'll have a slice in just oh, a second. I, I I made mistakes. Oh. I put it on top of the shulker box. <laughs> now you can't oh, open the shit. Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah. That's locked. You can't until you finish your cake. You can't have your dinner. That must be pound cake. It's just that's hmm. the way things never work in life. Is this right here the center? The bit over to the side of the ladder. Um. These. The uh. The center of these two blocks is the center. <laughs> Ah, okay. Like it, the yeah. design I have for you could be modified if you'd really like it to be too wide. Otherwise, it's a one wide design. Um, I think it's perfectly fine if it's one block. It was I was just using that to measure out the uh, the perimeter of the build. So yeah, no, it could be definitely one block wide. All right, Mr. Scar. I believe this. you owe us an explanation, a redstone okay. explanation. Oh yeah, I've been really peaks. busy. For Oh yeah, let me tell you what's going on here. We've got some red ropes down here. Red ropes? And yeah, red ropes down <laughs> here. Now some of them glow, some of them don't. There's also a torch. Sometimes these can be used as Christmas lights. Did you know that? I did not know that, but that sounds wonderful and Christmassy. And then there's that. these hoppers over here. And that's and for your hoppers. Yeah, you that, know, just that hopper your business. hoppers are for your hoppers. I like it. Yep. And then this powered rail right here. I do know. See, I knew what the powered rail was. Um, that makes the minecart go. Yeah, yeah, this makes the minecart go. And then down here, that's a dispenser, and it dispenses minecarts. Yes. And that was the there most amazing explanation. No one will have any questions about this contraption ever again, will they? What do the red ropes do again? <laughs> All right, so what we're building is the uh, the slipgator, willivator, elevator. I, I know that's okay. a bit crazy to say, but this is a classic slipgator design from season three. And okay. it's still to this day pretty much one of the most awesome elevators you can make because it's easy to go up, easy to come down, uh, multiple people can use it at once, and it's very reliable. So Ooh. we use minecarts to go up and a minecart track to go up, right? So I'm going to put a minecart in the dispenser. When I stand on this pressure plate, we're going to do a couple of things, Scar. The red rope here <laughs> is going to power the block below the dispenser, which activates the dispenser, right? 
Yeah. That's going to put a minecart on the track. At the same time, this torch here is going to turn off. Right? Okay, with me? okay. <laughs> yeah, it's called a burnout. Not quite, no. but well, yeah, you. let's just call it a burnout, okay? Thank then, you. <laughs> and then the redstone wire is what's actually powering this redstone rail. So okay. mine, when players on the pressure plate, minecart appears, redstone rail turns off. So then the player can get in the minecart, and when they do that, they're no longer standing on the pressure plate, which means the torch turns back on, and that yeah. powers the rail. Oh my god! So I'm, I'm going to be super newbie life. player, right? I'm going to come stand on this pressure plate. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm looking around. What am I supposed <laughs> to do? I'm, I'm taking my time, and eventually I see, oh, there's a minecart. I get in it, and then it sends me on my way. <laughs> oh, that's amazing! It's awesome, right? I, I love it. It's uh, it's a cool little contraption. Took took me a bit of a time to build it, as as you were saying, like you had a elevator design or something, and it's always a case of trying to remember what it is yeah. uh, that you used to build. So check this out over here. We've got loads of glass in this chest if you want to grab some of that. Uh, okay. We need some more I, I made wood. way too many stone slabs, by the way. That that was a uh, mistake. We're going to need a lot. We're going to need a lot. <laughs> okay, okay. We will, I, we I will. do have a lot. Okay, so in order to make this look good and make it look usable, uh, we want to put some stone bricks around here to hide our disgusting redstone. And then we're going to surround that with... Uh, with glass like this. Oh, I you know what? I have zero clue what we're doing, and it's amazing that we'll see this all like transform because I have no idea what the end goal is. Like all I know is we could be making a fish tank for all I know at this point. Well, the end goal is that we can go both up and down this contraption, right? I've shown you. Yeah. I've shown you how we're going to go up. We're going to use the rails. Yeah. Okay. This is how we come down, right? You're going to fall, not to your death. Uh, you're going to fall down onto this slab right here. And then you're going to be okay. able to walk out of the contraption. So if I had to place a little bit more glass, which I'm going to do right now, I could build the next part. We are going to have a water drop here for... Actually, we can do this with okay. vines as well, I think. Okay, yeah. so water, because I was thinking this looks like a death trap. And uh, I didn't want to say it. Kind of looks like one, but now definitely not a death trap, right? Okay. Oh, there we go. So, player at the top can drop down, all the way down, go through the water, take no full damage, and walk out of this thing, right? Can we name the sign, definitely not a death trap? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd be a little bit careful, though. Let me remove that. Yeah, first. let's Otherwise, not. I don't want to break, break the red redstone. Ropes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to do that. So, oh, the, next, the next thing to do alongside that is to put the rails going upwards. And this is, this is one of the beautiful things about this elevator, is that it's just really simple. I've got a feeling... No, I had a feeling for a second there I like, made this a little bit smaller than it could be. No, it's the right size. Um, so you just put slabs like this, and this is where you have your powered rails. We need we need to find a way to, to power those rails. How um, do and then you... it goes around the corner. How did you... How will... There, this is all like derailed right here. Will the minecart tra traverse ah, this? I've done it wrong. I've done it wrong, Scar. <laughs> uh, I got it right at the next step. But not at that one. Yeah, when you turn a corner, you have to uh, keep it at the same height. Is the oh, deal. okay, okay. I've, I've had some experience with minecarts. I built a roller coaster. It, it took a long time. It took a year, but a I did get it done. A year to build a no, like... some dedication, Scar. A year for a <laughs> roller coaster. Oh, <laughs> oh man. I think okay. the terraforming okay. took the longest of it. You know, I got the I got the build generally down, but then the terraforming. It's of like a like the biome is it's a custom biome. It's supposed to be like a like a like a cool tundra, but it's in the state of thaw. So in the shadows of all the areas there's snow and ice, and then everywhere else it's all thawed out. Ah, terraforming always takes takes its time, doesn't it? So oh, can yeah. you see the pattern with the rails now? Is it starting to Oh make I can sense? see it now. I can see it. Right, so so this is what's really cool, is like there's no crazy redstone going everywhere. It's just a simple repetitive design to take this track to the top. Mr. Scar, we've been hard at work. If you look up above, you can see this thing leads to the surface where we've done redstone. Oh, Your we've favorite. done redstone. <laughs> and I cannot wait till we fill this in and get the fishes in there. It's going to be amazing. The fishes? Like what? <laughs> it kind of looks like an aquarium, right? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Maybe a vertical aquarium, yeah. Dude, what we've got to do is chuck our minecarts uh, on those slabs just over there. Right, and that's gonna yeah, yeah, in there. So we always want to leave about probably ten or twelve inside the system, or maybe even more. Oh, there it goes. Fill it all the way up. Um, I'm gonna let you go first, and you can see the magic that happens at the top now. Oh, I love magic. Okay. <laughs> um, it, do I stand on the pressure plate? Yeah, man. Then you take okay. your time when you feel like it. There you go. 
And away we go! And I oh, can ride amazing. this at the same time. I'm going to get in this one. And I'm coming up behind you. Okay. Oh, I like it. Ooh, this is a little bit slow. Because I cheaped out on the rails. You might want to install some more powered rails on here. I don't have a lot oh, of... Oh, uh... no, no! Oh, shoot! Oh, dang oh it. you went straight back down the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Did it pop you out there? Because it just popped me out on top of the uh, on top of the you, hopper. You know what? I'm not 100 percent sure. I felt like I, I popped out, but I think the viewers are gonna have to figure that out. <laughs> Did Scar? Did Scar derp there, or did Scar like just get stuck in an un, you know an unfortunate situation? Well, the thing is, you can come straight back up if you want to. Okay, I'm gonna That's, do it this uh, time. You're already up here. Okay, let's see what happens this time. Okay, hey, yeah, now I made it on that platform. Sweet. Oh, perfect. So we got oh, a cactus. I get it now. Cactus so the minecart. Mine Sorry. That's so cool. I saw the minecart fall down there. That's genius. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 what's. Oh, do you want to just hop off of there? I was, there we go. Cheers. There we go. I was just tidying it up. Yeah. So the minecart this gets destroyed by the cactus. Goes into the hopper. Little bit of redstone back here. Just says, hey, if there's items inside that dropper, I'm going to dispense them, and they get dropped back down again. So at the oh, bottom. I like it. We fall through the water. It gets picked up and put into uh, into that thing, ready to go again. Oh, I like that. That's really cool. And like I was saying to Zoom just a second ago, we're gonna build up like a super cool like tower that kind of encases all of this aspect yeah. of it. And then where the little circle originally um, was built when we first started, like episode one, um, that's gonna be like a, a ruined wall that just circles the area. So the hermits have kind of gone underground after a natural disaster, maybe, or something yeah, like that. That's going to be, That'd be cool. So we are now over at the wonderful Scarlandia, as Scar likes to call it. Lovely name for this place. And let me just get up in the sky so you can get an idea of what's going on around here. Crazy big modern city project with a skyscraper. And I'm going to be working on a little bit of a project for Scar, but this episode's going to draw on. Uh, a long ways, so I figured when I start that project, I'll show you the footage of uh, the two of us communicating together. And wow, my flying skills doing pretty good going through there. <laughs> um, yeah, going to be building a massive redstone project in Scar's base that I am really excited for. But that is going to be it for me this episode. I do hope you have enjoyed it and got a little something for you. If you're not subscribed to the second channel, there's a video over there now of me playing um, some guitar, doing a tone test. That I'd love it if you went and checked out and let me know what you thought of it. So I'll put a link to that in the description box down below, but that is going to be it from me. If you have enjoyed it, uh, leave a like on the video. As always, thank you so much for the wonderful support on the series, and I will see you very soon in the next episode of Hermitcraft. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.